Hey guys, welcome back. So we are gonna get right to it. Thank you so much for joining, so check it out. So on the table right here, what I have is I've got a Street Fighter II CPS-1 board. Now this came out of a system that I have. I have a full-size Street Fighter downstairs. Now, if you want the best experience, obviously, running it on original hardware is always where it's at, but unfortunately that's not always attainable. So on the right-hand side, what we see right here is the Mister. Mr. is an FPGA-based console, so what you get with FPGA-based FPGA consoles is you get me messing up my live stream. There we go. <laughs> what you get with FPG, FP, why can I say that today? FPGA-based consoles is it's not software emulation, it's really hardware recreation. It's way more than that, but that's really what you need to know. And it does it in a almost perfect manner. So you'll notice as I stream, Street Fighter 2 on the Mister, it's effectively almost indistinguishable from the original. So I have a full-size cabinet downstairs. I can play it and then play the Mister right beside it, and I would have no clue the difference. Now, the CPS-1 core, to my knowledge, is still beta, and so if you're investing in Mister, then you can go to the link in the description I have, and you can, you can go to the Patreon. There's a developer out there that actually developed the CPS-1 core if you want to run CPS-1 games. Now, I haven't tested all of them, but I'm very impressed by how good the Street Fighter 2 one is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here really quick, if I can get my uh, controller working. I just want to show you uh, really quick some of the options that you have in Mr. So in Mr. you're going to have options like setting the aspect ratio, rotating the screen, um, scan doubler, so you can double the lines. You can have CRT filters enabled, so 25%, 50%. And like I said before on that stream the other day, uh, CRT filters or scan line filters tend to darken the image a bit. So if you end up using these, uh, you kind of need to brighten the image up a bit. Uh, but I'm going to roll it without scan lines, and then maybe during the game we can go through there and, uh, and check that out. Now, with Mr., you also have access to the dip switches in some cases. It depends on who created the core. But in this one, you can go in and set credits for coins and things like that. Because you could, in effect, build an arcade cabinet out of a Mister. There's a Mister to Jamma, Jamma Edge connector and everything like that. I haven't, I have yet to do that. I feel like someone's going to do it and it's going to aggravate me because it's been in my mind to do forever and I've never done, <laughs> done it. So someone's going to get to it before me. But I don't know, whatever. Anyways, I'm going to have the difficulty at three normal. So we're going to just do it. Uh, someone said, should hook up that Street Fighter movie board to it. Yeah, that Street Fighter, uh, let me just correct something really quick before we go in. I'm going to bring it back to the table cam for a second. So, Mister is its own standalone device, so it doesn't require the arcade board. That's the thing. This isn't even hooked up, so there is no arcade board. This is actually simulating the arcade board hardware. So, in effect, it's all of this logic is built in to the core that someone wrote for the Mister. So, that's really, really cool. Uh, very, very cool stuff. So from a technology standpoint, this is probably the future of gaming, and we've seen FPGA-based consoles popping up almost everywhere. Uh, if you look specifically at things like, let's kill the music and get into the gameplay, if you looked at things like uh, what Analog is doing with their Mega SG or Super NT or that new Pocket, that's all FPGA-based gaming, so it effectively reproduces the experience exactly how you remember it, and in most cases, better than how you remember it, which is kind of crazy. So um, so it, the enhancements are, are pretty awesome. So let's see if we can get... Uh, all right, we got some sound there. Just make sure the sound is working. Let's go right in. I literally set up this stream two seconds before I got off a work call, and we got to keep it somewhat l slow or somewhat fast because I do have to get back to a work call. I got my respawn energy drink. Has anybody is anybody drinking this? Like, by the way, did did you guys like fall into the hype of this and you started doing? It's not even hype. It's pretty awesome. I mean, just don't get the blue one unless you really like blueberry. I'm not a big fan. It's all about the pineapple one. And then my new pro. Oh, I just spit all over the place. My new, um, I hate saying the word pro tip, but my new pro tip is put a lemon in it. It tastes awesome with a lemon in it. And then, and then I need a better Street Fighter shirt. Like I've had this shirt for, let's just get into the thing. gameplay, gameplay. I, I don't know. How to Bachelor. I know you keep asking for a schedule, but the thing is, dude, I, I can't work on a schedule. That's the thing. I gotta just do it. I gotta just do it. Uh, I'm not gonna put vodka in it, super dimensional. I have to get back to work after this, so I'm definitely not gonna do that. Now, the Mr. Software does let you map all the controls. Again, I'm using the 8-bit dough again here, same as the other day. 
But you'll notice, so if you don't set anything, then your buttons are gonna be, you know, your buttons are gonna be slightly off there, which you, you, you kind of want your, your punches to be, if you want to emulate the arcade, you want your punches to be your top row, and your kicks to be your bottom row, that's how it would have been in the arcade. Now, I know you guys will say this is an excuse, but I very much play this game better in an, on, on arcade sticks than I do a controller. I feel like I can't consistently pull off moves on a controller for some reason. It is somewhat of an excuse, but I'm just saying. I, I just feel that way. And you can make fun of me for it. Oh man, I walked right into that. I have this thing where I wanna... I want just brute force no matter what game I play, and I realize that that's a bad strategy. But sometimes I just... it's how I roll. Oh man. Come on, Zangief. Just because I'm a bad guy doesn't mean I'm a bad guy. Um, don't you have to get a few boards to build a mister? So that's actually a misconception. So you can start with the base board and you can actually start um, playing games with just the base board. Now you can't have access to every core with the base board. That is the problem. So you have to get an SD RAM upgrade. Uh, I, I did a video a while back that was kind of like a 101 mister video. And in that video, I talked about um, the games you can play with just the base build. I think you can do like TurboGrafx-16 if I remember right. Um, you can do Sega Genesis. I can't remember, there's a, there's a bunch more that you can do. But that, I have it in that video actually, I even show the, the paper. But a good resource for for Mr. in my opinion is Smoke Monster and I actually have a link to his, I have a link to his uh, YouTube channel in the description. So definitely go subscribe to him. I mean, he every, he is light years beyond what I what I have done with Mr. I've been more of a casual user of Mr. I just love arcades and the fact that now there's arcade cores on Mr. is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm on normal difficulty. I didn't I didn't bump it up. I just kept it on the standard arcade like the arcade board would default to normal That's what I've got it set to my favorite stage. I love this stage You know someone pointed out to me the other day when we were playing the Genesis remake the remaster That there's only four elephants. I'm guessing that that might be a limitation that they can't add six um, Even with the remaster, you know memory is always an issue so I'm sure that's probably it. You gotta limit your memory usage. Ah, crap. You know, this is a game that I do use block on, believe it or not. I know a lot of times you guys make fun of me because I don't use block, but I do use block. Ah, crap. See? I did it right there. I use block. Not always, but I do. <laughs> Damn it. See? My gosh, I can't pull off the consistent Hadoukens. It's like pissing me off. Uh-oh. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> He's cheesing me. He's cheesing me in the corner. What the hell? No, no, no. Ah, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna, we're gonna go out like that. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it in time over. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, the hi highest difficulty was rough the other day. Man, I hate these. If I lose, it's gonna be a. I'm gonna be pissed because. If I have to hear these damn elephants for that much longer, I'm gonna be like really upset. By the way, thanks guys for telling me that the audio is like really loud. I'm looking at it. It looks pretty loud. So hopefully that was a hope that's a little bit better and you guys can still hear it. You guys are messing with me. No one's no one's no one give me the the heads up. I'll blame the elephants. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh, with the Hadoukens. Alright, fine. Fine, you want to get cheesy on me? I'll get cheesy on you. Um, someone asked if I'm a Street Fighter guy now. I've always been a Street Fighter guy. I was never a Mortal Kombat guy. And if, if, uh... If, um, Zohar's here, he's gonna be upset with me, but it is what it is. I gotta tell the truth. Okay, we, we beat him. No problem. Yeah, man, the elephants are just like out of control. Oh my gosh, like talk about getting a headache. If you wanted to torture someone, just literally put them put them in a room and just play that that the, the audio and sound effects from that level all, all over and over again. It's brutal. So someone was asking how the emulation is on the CPS one core so far. So so we will um 
I'll break out of here and show you the other game I have loaded, which is Final Fight. Final Fight works really good. Um, there was some issues. My buddy uh, Rexer Show was saying there's some issues with uh, like 1942 and 1940 or 1941. Sorry, I, I didn't test that game, so I don't know. But as far as I tested the games, I you know I was interested in and everything worked great. But keep in mind, it's all still beta right now. Oh man, I'm getting my ass kicked right now. All right, we need retribution. Okay, now I got to turn it up slightly. All right. You guys are you guys are so picky. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right, let's focus. Damn it. I just can't get the Dukins off with this thing, man. Wow, I'm getting my butt kicked. This isn't good. All right, I think I can make a comeback here. I think I'm going to mount a quick comeback. Maybe not. All right. <laughs> we'll try. We'll try one more, and then... I don't have an arcade. I don't have an arcade stick to hook up to this, but I need to get one, because it be, it would be it would be ultimate if I had an arcade stick I could hook up to this. That would be pretty cool. I'm wondering what arcade sticks would work. I guess... I don't know. I haven't done, like, extensive controller testing on, um... On the, um... Mister, but I think it's got pretty good compatibility to be honest. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play this round one more time and then we'll check out because of time we'll check out another CPS. I wasn't planning on playing anything other than Street Fighter, but we'll uh, we'll check out another CPS a CPS one game. Holy crap, dude! I feel like I need to have a Ralph's Retribution with with arcade sticks because I'm sucking so bad with this controller. No, I didn't win. <laughs> I didn't win. I yeah. Anyway, all right. We might have to. We might have to do a. Uh, we might have to do a Ralph's Retribution in the arcade downstairs. I actually plan on putting a camera downstairs in the arcade so we can actually do gameplay of the actual arcade cabinets. All right. This is the last time. If I don't pull this off, then we're gonna go in. Um. We're gonna. Oh my God, dude. We're gonna go and uh, we'll check out Final Fight. I wasn't planning on checking out Final See, I can't pull off Hadoukens and then I can't double Hadouken his ass. A Hadouken cancels a Hadouken. You know what I'm saying? Damn it, man. Get my freaking ass handed to me. See, like right there, I, I couldn't pull off a Hadouken and then he kicked my ass. Man, all right. <laughs> um, there isn't a CPS2 one yet, but let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out of here. I'll show you. I'm not playing right now, by the way. So I'm gonna go here and you'll see. I don't have all of these games loaded, by the way, and I'm not playing. So he's kicking my butt. Just just to kind of put that out there. I'm gonna go to final fight and show you guys so the one thing you'll notice is it boots up exactly because it's using um you know because it's emulating the arcade hardware it 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 boots up exactly like the arcade board would boot up down to a t everything so it's pretty damn cool i have not i don't know if i tested this one extensively but i'm pretty sure it was it was it was working out all right but we'll just we'll play to make sure You know, the funny thing is, you have this hooked up to an LCD. I feel like the Elgato doesn't do it 100% justice. Like, I feel like there's, um... 
I feel like there's elements of this that play better or look a little bit better, and I think the Elgato might contrast and be turned down a bit more, but I feel like it's way more vibrant uh, when I'm playing it on, on my, um, you know, like on a TV or, or you know, a gosh, I can't even speak today. You guys know what I'm saying. Just fill in the blanks, <laughs> right? But it looks really good. Now, see, I'll, uh, here, I'll, I, you know, I keep thinking, for some reason, I don't know if you guys remember, there's a version of Final Fight for the uh, Sega CD. It has a really good soundtrack. And um, why am I talking about that right now? Oh, I was thinking you could pause it, but obviously I can't pause it. <laughs> I'm a bachelor. Thanks for the, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the super chat on when's my next live stream. I don't know. Like I usually try to do them at lunchtime. See, that's the thing. So I work from home, and I try to do lunchtime live streams. But lunchtime doesn't always fall on the same time for me. So in order me to do these, they have to be impromptu during the week, or I could just not do them at all. So that's the that's the option. It's it is what it is. So here I'm gonna I'm gonna show you with um. With some of the... Here, I can do CRT filter for you right here. The CRTs don't really translate well on uh, on capture cards. For some reason, the CRT filters, they don't do that well. All right, I'll, I'll put it back to... Here's your, here's your 2X multiplier. So you get double line filters, and it does some smoothing. So it kind of makes it look more modern. Yeah, just guys turn on notifications, but the problem is is sometimes I don't set up the streams to like you know that moment in time. Uh, or a, or a half hour before or something. So I'm sorry about that. It's just it's just the way it has to go for these live streams. I might eventually try to publish a schedule for live streams on the weekend maybe, cuz those I can consistently keep to a time where it's too hard for me to do it otherwise. So here, I'm going to switch back to Street Fighter one more time. For those of you just joining, we're we're running on we're running this on a Mr. FPGA console, and I'll, I'll flip over to the table cam so you can see it really quick. But I just decided to show you guys Final Fight 2 because I only showed you one game. Let's see, we'll, we'll flip over here. So this is what we got running. I pulled out my Street Fighter 2 uh, board so you could, guys could see like the significance of this. They've, you know, the reason why Mr. is so cool is because they've in hardware figured out how to emulate the logic of each circuit of this actual PCB, which is so cool. And that's why it plays identical. It plays identical to the arcade. It's it's pretty exciting stuff. So I just love it. I, I you know, it, it's it's awesome to see all of this innovation happening with FPGAs. And, you know, one of the things is I um I did pre-order a Polymega because I thought that it was going to be FPGA based. And then, uh, you know, I was talking to Justin, and I didn't realize this. I didn't even know because I wasn't keeping tabs on the project that it actually became what was called hybrid FPGA, but then it really wasn't, and now it's just all software. So I'm less excited about it, although some of the things that it does is really cool. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely excited to see what companies decide to push the limits of FPGA in the future, though, because if you can reproduce the, the experience right down to the exact details you remember, that's... That's pretty awesome, you know? And it's something that everyone can get a little excited about. You know, I think Super if Super Dimensional is still here. I mean, he he loves... The, the, he's gotten to the point where FPGA is the only thing that he does now. So Rexer Show was asking what controller I'm using. I'm using the 8-bit Doe M30 2.4 gigahertz. I love these. They're my they're my absolute favorite. I mean, you get six action buttons. You get you get some buttons on the controller that you can actually navigate. I'm I'm gonna not play for a second, but there's a there's a Mr. Menu you can pull up, and I have it mapped to this button right here. So when I press that, I can pull up the Mr. Menu. So that's really cool. So having these extra utility buttons really helps uh, if you do something like Mr. So it's by far one of my favorite like third party controllers. It works really good. There's no noticeable input lag you know that's one thing for sure about mister that's awesome there's no lag at all in the gameplay it plays exactly street fighter plays exactly like i remember it uh and i happen to ha own the actual arcade cabinet so uh with with the board in it 
so I it plays ex I, you know I've compared the two. I'm not an expert. I didn't lag test it myself, but I don't know if it's there. I, I don't notice it. You know, there's definitely times where you can play games and have noticeable lag, and it's like, oh wow, that sucks. So I'm not as much of a pie. F I'm not as much of a pie fan, to be honest. I'll always lean the way of original hardware. If it's up to me, I would do everything in original hardware if I could, but Mr.'s your next best thing. Just not, I don't know. I'm just not as big of a pie guy. I've always been that way. If you look at all my older stuff on the channel, I either did original hardware or, uh, or very, very rarely would I do a pie thing. The only time you'll see me, I did a pie on a countercade mod where I wanted to use that, um, I can't really get Mr. Burns image or whatever, but not not big into the pie stuff. I think if you were a big game, you know, hardcore gamer and you want the best experience possible, you might spend a little bit more on a Mr., but it's so much so worth it. I think Super Dimensional can vouch for me on that one. It is it is worth it. Uh, he, and he's he's pretty anal guy. I thought I was anal, but Super Dimensional is way more anal than me. <laughs> and Rexer shows pretty damn anal too. <laughs> so you got two real anal gamers in the in the uh, in the chat that'll vouch for it being a really awesome experience. Uh, but there are official ways to lag test things. Uh, I don't actually have any of the technology to use to lag test, but. And I mean, I, I did the whole, you know, uh, Super Dimensionals in the chat talking about, you know, the right way to do Mr. You know, you can get the case and all that. Um, you know, you can obviously run it as just the board if you want without the case. It just looks really nice with the case. Uh, I ran it without the case for a while. Again, that's all, it's all like, it's all open source, man. So you're kind of on your own. So if you're looking for something that's already pre-packaged, then, you know, maybe Mr.'s not for you, right? And there's alternatives. I'm not saying, I'm not saying a pie is bad, but, uh, but I just think, you know, if it's all about the experience, I feel like you get a really great experience with, um, with Mr. Get my butt kicked by Blanca, by the way, which is awesome. Uh, I don't know if Mr. is an acronym for something. That's a good question. It probably is. I don't know if it is. If anybody knows, let me know. Maybe Rex or Show or Super Dimensional knows. I'm not sure. It probably is. All right, so we got about, we're about 24 minutes in. I'm gonna see, I don't remember if I had any more games on here. I don't remember what I might've installed. I feel like I installed Tapper. Maybe I didn't, but I thought I did. Oh, oh, I didn't, okay. So I don't have Tapper, I thought I did. Let's see, I'll see what else I might've installed. I can't remember, it was a while ago that I set this up and I can't remember what I did and what this didn't do. Let's poke around real quick. So the other thing is if you do let it do the auto download, it will, um, why do I feel like I did burger time? Oh, I did. I think burger time had some emulation problems if I remember right. Like it wasn't, it wasn't perfect. Actually, it doesn't even look like it's working. Yeah, it's not even working. Okay. Well, then what we'll do is just to, just to wrap things up. I wish I had remembered what I actually put on here. I'm not gonna do DK because, you know, you get into trouble with DK, which is unfortunate. I wonder if I did Frogger. I like Frogger. Did I do Frogger? Uh, I'd say negative on Frogger. All right, we'll, we'll wrap it up with Final Fight. I'll give you final thoughts during Final Fight. And uh, <laughs> Chef Dave, Straight Fighter the movie actually didn't run on CPS1 hardware. Um. So interesting thing about Street Fighter, that's a very interesting, Street Fighter the game, the movie is has a very interesting story and here's why. You guys know who Incredible Technologies is, right? Here, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do my final thoughts music as we talk through this, uh, cause then we gotta wrap up. But you get, do you guys know, does anybody out there know what, um, who Incredibles, who Incredible Technologies is? So Incredible Technologies does games like Golden Tee and Silver Strike and Buck, uh, some versions of Buck Hunter. I don't know if they did the later versions of Buck Hunter. I think that was Raw Thrills or something, but I don't know if Incredible was involved in the later versions. But the interesting thing is Street Fighter the game, the movie is Capcom, but Incredible Technologies did the hardware. It's really weird. I have the board. Uh, it'd be interesting if I had time to go pull it out. Um, so yeah, it was it was, it was kind of kind of weird, right? Because it's not it's not Capcom's hardware. It's actually Incredible Technologies hardware, and it's very evident by the design of the board. 
the board is not designed like this thing is that I showed you right here. Like the CPS one, or, you know, obviously the green screen is going to block some of this, but the CPS one hardware, it was all based on, so this is CPS hardware and you have an A board and a B board here. We'll go to the, unfortunately we're going to lose the, we're going to lose the music real quick, but we'll go to the table cam. So this board is comprised of two boards. Actually, there's the A board, this one underneath, and then the B board on top. So, well, this one ha technically has an A, a B, and then the this is like a, a C board. But so there, there's there's A and B board here. Now, the thing that's interesting is the B board was the game board. So this had the game ROMs on it. So you can see, like, there's your game ROMs. The cool thing about uh, Capcom in the in the CPS series is that the B board was just different on each one. So you know, if, if this was a final fight, the final fight board, which I do own, by the way, would look exactly, which I own, by the way, that sounded really lame. Sorry. Um, it's just, you take this board off. So check this out. So I'm going to do it really quick. And by the way, I, I'm sure if su super dimensional isn't very anal guy so much so that he always tells me about if my boards are dirty and stuff like that, but see, this comes off and then that's your A board. So you would simply take your final fight, right? This would be like, let's say, let's pretend this is final fight and you put it on top of the A board and it works. Now, um, Incredible Technologies did not go through that process to do it. Like they, they, it's a slap together board. I don't know. Like it just doesn't look anything as elegant as Capcom. So when you start to look into Capcom and you look at like their CPS two boards, you have a, a really, if you're into hardware, you definitely have a respect for what they did. Cause even at the, in the CPS two boards, the ones that were in the plastic cases, it was the same way. You had a base A board and the B board would sit on top of it. And that'd be your game board. And those were interchangeable. Although there's some, there's sometimes that's not true. If you're talking about inter-regional things, like there's a Japanese version of the A board, which I found out by mistake, which is not compatible uh, with the American versions of the B game boards. But anyways, so it is what it is, but I just love original arcade hardware. It's been something that I've had a passion for for a long time. It's really why I started the channel. If you go back and look at the early arcade one-up mods, I was simply using arcade hardware in a, in a toy cabinet, which I didn't think anybody would care about. Come to find out a bunch of people did. Like a bunch of people were like, this is cool. I like what you're doing. And uh, that's, that's how the channel was born. So I've never really told that story, but that's how it all happened. It was really just people started thinking it was cool. And I just didn't think enough people cared, really. I thought it was going to be a fad. So just kind of cool. But yeah, being a perfectionist is a gift and a curse, Super Dimensional. I agree, because one of the things that you told me, <laughs> I did a video and I didn't clean the PCB. And he's like, dude, I can't watch this video. There's dust all over your board. But hey, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, how to Bachelor, you asked how many arcades full-size arcades i have i have uh six of them downstairs and then i have three right now in storage and then everything else is either arcade one up or like some kind of custom build or something like that so anyways it is what it is guys that's it i think that's all we're we're, we're, we're here to talk about today because i got that call at one which now i am late for so final thoughts time what did i think about mister mister's really cool definitely check it out if you haven't already i feel like i'm doing a lot of I'm doing a lot of oh hey chaz thanks for subscribing man i feel like i'm doing a lot of this on this stream to re-emphasize my point <laughs> totally unnecessary <laughs> yeah anyways i don't even know what's going on anymore i don't know i think that's it i think it's the end of the stream all right let's just call it a day okay i'm not even gonna do final thoughts but if i had to so basically, I'm going to do the thing I just said I'm not going to do. Mister's really cool. If you're an arcade, you know, arcade or end and or console gaming guru, you know, aficionado, expert, you know, whatever, enthusiast, you'll really dig it. It's really cool. Is it a replacement for your physical consoles? I'm not saying that, it, that, that but, uh, but it's definitely something cool for you to check out and just another awesome way to play these games, but it is going to reproduce them the way you expect. So that's it, guys. If you like the video, please give us, a, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and uh, turn on notifications so you can be informed of future videos. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing if you enjoy content like this. That's it for now, guys. We will see you on the next one. Take care, guys. I'm still here.
it's weird. There's always, there's a lag between when I hit the end button. So sometimes I don't know how much of this actually you hear. Cause I'm usually just standing there. I'm staring at the camera awkwardly as I go to, as I go to press the end stream. I'm like, <laughs> see you on the next one. And the next one. Is it off yet? <laughs> on the next one. All right. See you guys. Thanks so much for joining on the next one.